What's quite different with this age group is their education. So it's really important that girls from this age group onwards start to really understand their own bodies, understand when, it's, when something is sore and when it's a potential injury. They, they need to start knowing when they need to report these type of things to their local physios at home um, and get treatment before it becomes a, a great big problem that will cause them to modify their training. Keeping your pelvis level, rolling up, rolling down. We're going to do three sets of five scat push-ups in plank. But what I don't want to see is anything moving other than your shoulder blades. Well, we're doing a few different sessions throughout the weeks that the girls are here. We're doing some Pilates, some yoga, some stretching and rehab sessions. So the Pilates for these girls, for water polo athletes in the pool, is absolutely essential. So given that they're not on a stable base, they really have to be quite strong through their core to be able to connect when they're shooting, throwing, wrestling. Their core needs to be strong because that's where all the power comes from. So it's really um, important that the girls have an awareness of what their core is, what a good position, what a good posture is, because if we can get their movement as um, efficient as possible, um, it's, it's easier for them to build strength and power and feel strength and power in the water. So Pilates kind of in, encapsulates that. The yoga stuff's really important in terms of some of the stretching, but also some body awareness. So girl, girls trying to get themselves into some positions that they might not normally get into um, to maintain good muscle um, length, strength in outer ranges of muscles, and then um, just maintaining um, range of movement that these girls might not always work in the pool as a water polo athlete. And then the stretching and rehab thing, the same thing. So stretching the muscles that they use a lot is really important. It's important in a warm up and a cool down, but also to do um, from time to time throughout the week, uh, just as a maintenance type of thing for their bodies and rehab, obviously, in terms of injury prevention or working on areas of weakness that have been a problem in the past. So that's why we've kind of thrown these things into the program. 